Hi, in this short TTHQ tutorial, I will be completing a transaction on my WordPress website where the WooCommerce plugin has been used to create a product, although the WP Express Checkout plugin was integrated to handle payments with the PayPal Express Checkout. When our WP Express Checkout plugin is integrated with the well-loved WooCommerce plugin, it acts solely as a payment gateway option where the payments are processed through PayPal. It gives customers an additional checkout option that ensures they never need to leave the website with all sensitive payment details collected in a secure pop-up window. I will now run through the WooCommerce checkout and select to process my product payment with the PayPal Express Checkout option provided by the WP Express Checkout plugin. This will give website owners an understanding of what the checkout process will look like for their own customer base once the WP Express Checkout WooCommerce integration has been successfully set up. I'll now head to my WordPress website where I can complete that checkout process as if I were a customer. As a customer, I've landed on this Office Supplies website where I'd like to purchase one pack of the ballpoint pens for $2.95. So I've selected one pack and I'll add that to my cart. I can see that that's been added to my cart, view cart, and I can see in that nice table the price and the total and I can proceed to check out. So this is still just being handled by that WooCommerce plugin. I'll need to add in my billing details as a customer. I've added just in some test details for the purpose of this tutorial and I'll scroll down. It's this section that I'd like to draw your attention to as this is where they'll be able to choose that PayPal Express checkout option if you have successfully completed the WP Express Checkout WooCommerce integration. So that PayPal Express Checkout option is coming from the WP Express Checkout plugin. So your customers will only see payment options here that you have configured in the WooCommerce payment settings menu. I've configured that WP Express Checkout plugin option. So therefore my customer can pay with the Express Checkout if they wish to. So as a customer, I've chosen to pay with the PayPal Express checkout option by marking that check circle, and then I'll click the place order button. From here, the PayPal Express pop-up window appears where I'll be using my PayPal account in this example. I'll just be using my PayPal Sandbox account, but just note that your customer will be using their live PayPal account and you will receive the funds directly to your PayPal account that you've set up the credentials for in the WP Express checkout settings menu. So as a customer, I'll pay with my PayPal balance. I've clicked balance. I'll scroll down and I'll click pay now. So from here, I'm directed back to that WooCommerce order received page where it's basically a thank you page where I can see exactly what I have purchased. So that's pretty much the process for a customer when you have set up that WP Express checkout WooCommerce integration on your WordPress website. It's a very simple process for your customer to check out with that PayPal Express option when you've set that up on your website using the WP Express checkout plugin. As a website owner, you'll be able to view all the details about this order within that WooCommerce orders menu, and then you can ship out products as needed using the customer's address stored within that menu. Pretty much sums up this very simple tutorial on what it looks like for your customer when you have that WP Express Checkout WooCommerce integration set up. If you have any further questions or queries about this video, don't hesitate to contact us.